Hello viewers, as we told you last week, we got something interesting. Still wondering what it is? You are watching the Science and Science series. According to the phrase you just saw, we are going to tell about the saints who have contributed their knowledge to the kingdom of God and science. There might be some scientists here watching this video. Don't mistake us if anything is wrong. If you have anything left out by us, comment them below. Let's know what Saint Hildegard of Bingen has contributed to science. She was born in 1098 in Bingen. She was a German Benedictine abbess, scientist, composer, philosopher, visionary and polymath. Benedictine abbess means female heads of religious orders. She has been considered by many in Europe to be the founder of scientific natural history in Germany and she was also a keen observer of natural events, interested in botany, physiology and natural medicine. Her most famous book on the science of medicine was Physica Liber Simplicis Medicina, in which she described various known symptoms of diseases and common treatment. Also, another book contains an extensive taxonomy of plants and animals. The asteroid 898 Hildegard is named after her and there is a crater in the moon that bears her name. She tested several different potential pesticide efficacy. In her writings, she also talks about the process of brewing beer about the different sources of water and whether they are safe to drink. After all, she died on 17 September 1179. The tomb of Carlo Acutis was opened this morning in Assisi after the Holy Mass officiated by the Bishop of the Diocese. The body of Carla Acutis was found intact. For the first time in history, you will see a saint dressed in jeans, sneakers and hoodie. Holiness is not a distant thing, but very much within everyone's reach because the Lord is for everyone. Carla Acutis was an Italian Roman Catholic teenager. He was best known for documenting Eucharistic miracles around the world and cataloging them onto a website that he himself created in the months before his death from leukemia. Pope Francis declared him to be venerable. On 5th July 2018, the same Pope approved a miracle attributed to him which enables Acutis to be beautified. Acutis will be beautified at the Papal Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi on Saturday, October 10 at 4 pm. Cardinal Giovanni Angelo Bissium, Prefect of the Congregation of the Causes of Saints, will preside. That's all for today. We will meet you next time with a different scientist. Bye!